All right, Aaron Parker, Parker Safes and Balls, Shelbyville, Tennessee. We'll give you a look today at the Old Glory line of safes. Um, we are a stocking dealer for Old Glory. And uh, these are going to be the Super Duty or SD line. They make a BR line as well, but the Super Duty is a little bit heavier duty line. And we have three different models here. But if you've been... Uh, if you've been looking for safes for any amount of time online, you probably run into the Old Glory advertising uh, campaign. They've got a pretty pretty good marketing thing going on. And they also have a, a number of really good reviews out there. Uh, but we're a stocking dealer for Old Glory. So if you have a, um, a desire for one of these and we can help you out, we can order any uh, any model that you'd like and have it shipped to you and that would include garage delivery for free. So that's nationwide. So if uh, If you'd like to use us as your dealer for that, we'd certainly appreciate it. We'll have a look today at three different models of these Sorry, I'm shutting some doors here so I can move um, But the first one here, this is the uh, 60 30 So 60 inches tall 30 inches wide. I did take the door panel off of this just so we can have a look here in a moment but uh, give you a look at these guys side by side. So a 60-30, that's 60 inches tall, 30 inches wide. Then they have a little wider safe. This will be a, a 39 by 60, or 60 by 39 rather. So 60 inches tall, 39, and then a 72-42. 72 inches tall, 42 inches wide. And their model numbers coincide with the sizes. But uh, on the outside here, we've got gloss black paint, uh, hinge finials, these are little decorative caps here, uh, hinge finials on the top and bottom of each hinge. Three hinges, which is uh, uh, a little bit different than most, most companies, where you just find two. Um, five spoke handle, electronic lock. Also with this lock, um, down here is gonna be some like, um, bypass keys or override keys for the lock so they're separate the cool thing about this is they have nothing to do with the uh, with the lock itself it's a completely separate uh, lock so what it does is it it reaches in through a hole that i'll show you in a second and when you turn that key it'll raise the entire lock on like a slot up out of the way of the bolt work so it just bypasses the lock completely so worst case scenario your lock fails and something really bad happens inside and the lock's just not gonna work regardless of your battery and faceplate and all that, you can stick that key in there, turn it, and it moves the whole lock up out of the way of the bolt works. So pretty cool. Uh, but that little lock, or that little key rather, goes in that hole right there. All right, so on the, on the SD here, we do have a double step door. So we have two steps here. And those are going to kind of correlate to these two panels over here. This is, a, you know, they're going to seat up against there, the first step and then the second step. We've got two fire seals here. Uh, and those also compress a little bit to keep, you know, smoke and moisture out. Uh, nine gauge body. So nine gauge is about 532nd. Uh, or if you're not too patriotic, four millimeter. Uh, inside here, we're going to have a hard plate. Uh, this is that whole lock body here, and that, so we've got a hard plate, uh, three-way active bolts. So down here on the bottom, we've got bolts that are going to retract and extend, same as same as here on the side, and then uh, right here on the top. The hinge side here is going to just be stationary, right? But all the bolts are are bolted on rather than riveted on. So I like that. Uh, pretty robust uh, bolt works. Pretty. Pretty stout. Everything's everything's uh, really thick steel. Uh, some of this is like a quarter inch. But uh, they also do a nice job with their fire rating or their fire lining. So you can barely, I don't know how well you can see that, but right there is a seam. But there's no gap there, right? So it's it's pretty darn tight. And um, you don't find that in too many safes where they, they're actually, you know, where there's no gaps if you open up the door. You can usually find places where they kind of cheated a little bit getting the, getting the sheetrock in there. But 1,880 degrees for two hours, lifetime warranty. And um, another, uh, another thing you can do when you're looking at safes is kind of check out the bottom, right? So usually there's a way to get to the, the bolts that will fasten it to the pallet or the same bolts uh, or the bolt holes rather that you might use to anchor it down. But in this case, these have little plastic removable caps 
But if you look down in here into this hole, that'll kind of give you an idea of what kind of, you know, insula uh, insulation they're using. And then in this case, it's sheetrock, but you have three layers there. So what that tells me is that they're insulating even the bottom of the safe. Uh, you know, American Security does that. Quite a few companies do, but some don't. And, um, you know, it's a, it's a good way to kind of check things. Uh, this little thing here, that's just your switch for your lights. But uh, speaking of lights, they're LED. Um, and uh, they, they come in a different, uh, a number of different colors. Like you have a remote control and it'll, it can click them on from like blue to red and I don't know, yellow, all kinds of stuff. Back here is just your plug-in. You got a power strip there, two USBs. Uh, interior wise here comes with a little basket here it slides in and out uh, a six gun pistol rack and then adjustable shelving so keep in mind when you're looking at these you know I don't have it all set up like you might exactly like it but just keep in mind that everything is adjustable so you could have all shelving basically or all long guns or a combination thereof move over here to this uh, 6049 it's a six digit code there and you can reset that as many times as you want but same all, all these are going to be the same they're just going to vary a little bit on you know size so as you can see now we've got two center dividers right so let me give you another look at this real quick give you an idea so we just have one center divider there and then your long gun slots and two top shelves and the 6039 it's going to have two dividers here, so you get three places for long guns. They do come with, uh, I think I, mi I missed that before, they come with a dehumidifier as well, and a little uh, package of anchors for your, if you wanted to anchor it down to a, a wood floor or concrete, it'll, it'll take care of either one of those. All right, so there's your six, uh, 6039. And if we go over here to the 7242, A lot more space, of course. Uh, two two top shelves up here, and really, it's going to just be a, a a larger version or a taller version of the sixty thirty nine. It is a little wider, uh, but not a lot. It doesn't doesn't add a lot of gun gun capacity, but where it makes it up is up here in the in the height. They do have a quarter inch plate door on them as well. I've actually forgot what these weigh. Um, so I'm gonna have to put that in the narrative there somewhere. And keep in mind, I did just take that panel off. So what you're looking at there is just a glimpse of the interior, the bolt works. Our pricing is going to be the same as what you find online as well. Sometimes we have a little special, but generally uh, we're just going to keep it the same as Old Glory does. But I appreciate you having a look, and uh, if we can help you out with uh, your order on one of these, We would certainly like to, and we'd appreciate that. So, hey, thanks for having a look. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment there, and I'll try to get to them as soon as I can.